If you have an Indian head penny, Indian head one cent coin, definitely watch this whole video. I'm going to show you exactly what to look for and some coin prices for these coins. Don't forget to go check out couchcollectibles.com. We have coin microscopes available. Link is always in the description of every single video. So let's hop right into it. Now first what you want to look for with your coin microscope on the 1907 Indian head one cent coin is a repunch date. So a 1907 here. So the nine, the zero, and the seven is repunched. So you can really see that there on the nine, on the inside of the nine, and on the inside of the zero. And then again, there on the seven. So you can see that it has been repunched. You gotta look very closely with your coin microscope. Now here's another example of that. This is actually all the date has been repunched. So even the one, you can see the one is being repunched there. And then the nine, zero, and seven. And wow, look at the seven. You can really see it there on that example. Uh, the repunch date so always be on the lookout for that there's actually a lot of Indian head pennies with repunch dates we're gonna get into that here in a second but let's look at the 1907 first here is an example of a 1907 that's graded at a mint state 63 red brown and it's got a repunch date so it's not the you know best condition coin if it was graded at a red it would be much more valuable but this coin here sold for around $40 now if we look at a coin, the same exact coin, that is graded at a mint state 64 brown. Now this has got the repunch date again, and this coin sold for over $380. So much more for that higher grade. For the 1907 proof coin, now our proof Indian head scent. Now this one is really cool, and I would love to have an Indian head proof coin like this in my collection. This is graded at a proof 66 red brown and this coin sold for over four thousand dollars because of its high grade now if we look at a lower minted well it's not the lowest mintage but it's not a mint state graded coin it's graded at about uncirculated 58 and you will see the difference in value here this coin here sold for 65 dollars but if we look, and that is a brown penny. So if you're not familiar with brown versus red pennies, definitely watch the whole video that I did on that explaining the difference. Now, if we look at the same exact coin in 1907, but this coin is graded at a red, that's why it has that RD there on the coin slab. So we got a mint state 67 red grade, and this grade is gonna be what makes the coin really valuable. This Indian head penny sold for over $24,000 and it's probably because there's not a lot of these coins out there at that grade or higher. So uh, with the red grade as well. So this coin brown with an AU58 grade and then this coin here red with a mint state 67 grade. So the grade of a coin really does determine a huge factor in valuing these coins and what they're actually gonna sell for. But check out these other coins that you should always be on the lookout for. Here's a stock image of the 1877 Indian head penny. Now you can see that they only produced 852,000 of these coins. So that is what's gonna give it a lot of value because they are extremely rare. They only made 852,000. Uh, in comparison to other years where they made millions. So here's an example of that. You see the 1877 with the mintage there. You see the 1875, they made 13 million of those coins. The 1880, they made over 38 million of those coins. And like I said, the 1877, only 852,000. So that is a key date to look for when you guys do come across Indian head pennies. Now these pennies do vary in price. This penny here, you can see that it looks very worn. It looks, uh, you know, not in the best condition. It is an 1877 Indian head penny. But because of that date, this penny sold for over $415. Now if we look at this one, this one has even been cleaned. Uh, it's not graded at a high grade, it's graded at an extra fine 40. You can see that it does get damage to it and it's still sold for over $1,400. So I'm gonna show you the difference of the prices. Keep going up here. This 1877 Indian head penny here is graded at about uncirculated 55. Now this penny here sold for over $4,800. Moving right along to an 1877 
Indian Head Penny again that has an extremely high grade. So what that means is that the coin is pretty much near perfect condition. This coin is graded at a mint state 66. The coin grading scale only goes up to 70. So near perfect coin. This penny here sold for over $149,000. That's right, $149,000 for this Indian head penny. That is incredible. Up here is the stock image of the 1903 Indian head penny. This is no mint mark, so Philadelphia minted. You can see that they produced over 85 million of these coins. So you might think, how in the world can they be valuable if they produce so many of them? And that's what we're gonna answer right here. First off, here's an example of the date being repunched. So if you look where those arrows are, it's being repunched southeast of the date there. So you can see that underneath the one, the nine, and the zero there. So always be on the lookout for those because it can give the coin a little bit of value. Now, if you guys wanna see your coins up close like this, I do have microscopes available, USB microscopes you plug into your computers where you can see your coins up close like this. They are available at couchcollectibles.com. Link is always in the description of each video. So here's an example of a 1903 penny that has a mispunched date. Now this one didn't sell for big money, but it still sold for over $85 which if it had a higher grade, it's graded at an AU58. You can see that there on the coin slab by PCGS. If it did have a higher grade, it probably would sell for more, of course, but it's graded at an AU58. So that's what it sold for, $85. Now here's an example of a lower graded one as well. This is graded at about uncirculated 58. Lower grade in comparison to Met State coins, of course. Now, if you're not too familiar with coin grading, I have a whole video on my channel of that. This is the 1903 that has no mispunch date. It's just the regular 1903 and it's sold for $75. But if you look at this coin, this is the same exact coin in 1903. However, it's got a very high grade. Now you go from $75 to a high graded coin at a mint state 67. This coin here sold for over $17,000. So you see how big the gap is from $75 to $17,000? That is all based on the grade. So the higher the grade, the more money you're gonna get for your coins essentially. Now here's a 1903 proof penny. So this is pretty cool. Love the details on this proof penny. As you guys know, proof pennies are struck multiple times. That way it gives them more details. If you're not too familiar with proof coins, I have whole videos on proof coins as well. Now this is graded at a proof 68, so very, very high grade. Now this penny here sold for over $37,000. That's right, $37,000. Here guys is a stock image of the 1902 Indian head penny. No mint mark, so Philadelphia minted coin. Now you can see that they produced over 87 million of these coins. So they did make a lot of the 1902 penny. But here's an example of something to look for on that 1902 penny if you guys do have one. So this is what's called a die gouge on the eye of the Indian. So that is pretty sweet. You can see that very visibly there on the eye and the image displayed here. All right, now here's an example of a 1902 that has that eye gouge. You can see that it's not a very high graded coin. It's graded at an extra fine 40. So nothing like a mint stated high graded coin or anything like that. It's obviously been circulated. If it was a mint state high graded coin, then it would definitely sell for a lot more. Now this coin here, even in its condition, sold for $80. Now here is another 1902 Indian head penny. Now this is graded about uncirculated 58. So a lot higher grade than the last coin. However, it doesn't have that eye gouge or anything like that, but because of its higher grade, it did sell for a little more money. It sold for a little over $85. Now I'm gonna show you the difference between an $85 coin and a very, very expensive coin. And this is all based on coin grading. I do have two coin grading videos out there. If you guys wanna go check those out on my channel, you guys can just type in Couch Collectibles Coin Grading on YouTube, and those videos should come up. But I'm also gonna do a whole nother video re-explaining everything, that way you guys uh, understand exactly how to go to these grading companies if you wanna send your coins and actually look at the grading scale and each type of grade and what these grading companies are looking for. All right, so this coin here is again a 1902 Indian Head Penny. Now this is extremely, extremely high graded coin. 
uh, almost flawless. It's graded at a mint state 68. So very, very high grade. And you can see that there in the images displayed that this coin is just super, super nice. And because of the grade on this coin, this penny sold for over $13,000. So you got an $85 penny and a $13,000 penny that are both the same year, both the same pennies, just two different types of grades. So that is a huge, huge factor when pricing coins. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I will see you all in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.